Rob Cross smashing in the trebles to earn himself this opportunity. Adrian Lewis still averaging over a tonne here and yet might find himself 4-2 down. 59. Well, he does at least get the maths right. He leaves himself 1-6-4. It's a shot. Oh, oh drags it. But compensates Flex. well. Makes up for the error. Double 12 the target for a 12 dart leg and a break. Oh, Game right shot. in the corner. It's a beauty, though. Rob Cross, 12 dart leg, 4-2 he leads. 100 average for voltage, 101 for jackpot. Not as much pressure as he would have liked. Now, yeah, 57. So, double top for AD. 44. And he's just pulled it low. Rob Cross has left 119, which is not the greatest of leaves, if we're honest. That leaves the bullseye. Game and shot. Rob Cross and the match. left Rob an Cross. awkward 1-1-9 one, one, and proceeded to take it out on the bullseye to condemn Adrian Lewis to a third consecutive first round exit at the Autumn Series. Seed here today in world number three, Gerwin Price, but Price has somehow managed to turn that one around. Gilding, I'm not sure what he's averaging, but he's 105 when I saw it. Eight or nine legs in. Can Hop take this out for a big bullseye finish? Because when he's playing well, he Game hits shot. the bullseye. Max Hop, that is absolutely sensational. That may Wisser to stay alive. 50 required, double 16. 18. And that might be the end for Jordi Maywisser because Max Hop wants double 12 to complete a stunning performance. Game shot and, and that is exactly what that was. The German number one. It's two years since he won his last title. That money will be coming off his ranking. And Ryan Joyce is on a 170. He's already hit double nine 130. in this match. He has to hit it now with Joyce laying up well. Game and shot and match. So a wonderful Luke Humphrey. performance from Luke Humphreys, who Finishes that match with 102 average, a very similar performance to that of Max Hopp, who won the last game, but real problems for Ryan Joyce as he storms out of the room, very displeased. But Luke Humphreys is anything but displeased with that, as that is very encouraging as he goes through to round number two. Stefan Seatman. The doubles have been a bit dodgy. Double nine, he pinned in leg one. Can he pin it again? 18. He doesn't, and it might be the last dart he throws in this game. Seatman, 84 required. Double 12 needed for his first win of the Autumn Series. Stefan Seatman, the new tour card holder from Germany. Game shot. Pins and the match. double 12 Stephen for an 84 Seatman. checkout. It's a very, very impressive 14 dart leg to close this one out. Tony Alcinas' woes continue, but Stefan Seatman's won a game, and he's through to round two for the first time this week. Well, he could have used the bullseye there to get below 100 and leave a two darter. 180. And Michael Smith's 180, only his third of this match. Has it turned the tables? 18s. He cannot produce a third consecutive plus checkout. He leaves himself on double four, but Michael Smith will get another match dart. He must have thought his chances had disappeared. Yeah, 47. And maybe they have now because Boris Karchmar game shot double and the match. four for a fabulous comeback win superb game of darts from these two both men averaging just below 100 and Karchmar back-to-back -back checkouts of 120 and 121 this Lisa has found herself on these little sub 100 combo finishes a number of times in this contest she's been 99 good, not been flawless but she's got a chance here, and if she wraps this up, it'll be a very impressive 6-2 victory and put herself in the board final. Match starts.
Gang and the Lancashire Anima Rose gets Lisa it done. 15 data. She ends up with an average just over 90 in the end. Lisa Ashton, the Lancashire Rose, in her board final once again in her debut year in the PDC Tour. She's looking for a shot to leave 117 or better to take the bullseye out of the equation. 140. Oh, he's got Might go treble 30 here. He's going to go for the 19s. Double 11 for another big out. 117. Would have added to the 140 from earlier in the match. Can Smith equalise that? Well, well, well. Double 10. Game he's shot. got it. Oh, -ho! a nod of approval this time from Price. What a game this is. Two very prolific 180 hitters here. 140. But they're backing up the 180s with big scores. 130. Use of the there from Price. Taking himself into firing range that ball will be the target for smith who looks at 60 tops tops for a second consecutive ton plus game out. shot oh 140 out followed by a 125 and this game is level at four each the best out shot of his life was a 160. can he do it again gave it the double prod and i think it the dart in his hand wasn't 100 percent 140. And we don't envisage smith missing tops now Game shot. And he does and it. What a fabulous Ross game Smith. that was. Both averaging way over 100. And the man with the solid black shirt does progress to the last 16 to play Joe Cullen. But put your seatbelts on, everybody, because it's Dozer against MVG on Streamboard 1 next. This is where Glenn Durrant believes that he is right up there with the best in the world. These checkouts, one treble finishes. You get one dart at a double. That's annoying because he's got to try and find the treble 19. Has he done it? Is it in? No, it's not. It's high. 56. And it means... Game that shot. MVG pins tops again. He is three out of three on double top. Ashton is on her best ever run in a PDC ranking tournament. She's just come from 4-0 down to beat the gigantic player from Croatia, Boris Karchmar. 180 won that game she's up against nick kenny who's beaten james wade an unseeded player who's going to make it through to the quarterfinals in this half of the draw 180 van gerwin you hit him with something big he hits back with something equally big oh is it three maxims on the trot 140 not quite does it leaves 86 after nine he may not even get a shot tops tops he's not missing it he's not missing it Game oh, shot. He's done it again. Michael Van Gerwen is seeing double top like it's a hectare wide. He has hit it five times in four legs. And Durrant to break, to keep himself alive. Double eight again. Back to back 76 checkouts. This time this is outside. 68. And again, he's right on the inside wire. He fancied it when he let go of it. But he might have to let go of this game and indeed his unbeaten record against Michael Van Gogh. Because and that match. is Michael Van a Gogh. statement. Dozza applauds a 6 2 victory for Mighty Mike. 105 average. He is playing magnificently today. And full stop, Ian White. Because it's going to be another 10 plus average. And whatever Danny Noffat does here, and it might be a maximum, and he raises his eyebrows. 100. Because as Rod Harrington would call it, it would have been a wasted one eye. Tops for 6 3. Game shot wow. and the match. There it is. Ian White. Listen to Ian White. He knows he had to perform to get past Danny Noffert, a very dangerous customer. 100 average, 100 average for the day. White is in the semi finals. It'll be either Luke Humphreys, the world youth champion, or the Austrian number one, Mensor Sulevich, that stands in his way. Some profligate doubles from Kenny. No shot at ball. 90. And this 119 is awkward. All depends what he gets for the first dart. 
62. Just making sure. Gets the treble for double 13. Game oh, shot. Oh, very, very nice. Kenny, the way you get better is by playing against the best week in, week out. Sometimes that's hard, particularly when you start off. But maybe this could be the start of something. Has to be applauded. 49. Well, he's looked after himself very well through lockdown. As MVG goes for 60 and for tops. Game shot. And, and he the makes match. sure Michael of the Van final Gogh. with a 151 to finish it off seven legs to four. What a way to do it. And he expected it with that expression there. He will go forward to face either Ian White or Mensa Sulevich in the final today. First, betting the ball. Hasn't managed that. But 13 would leave him on it. He is on it. 57. Not in it. No mistaking where MVG goes now. And that's to tops. Game shot. Which has been lethal today. And that one is about as good as you'd get with tops. It's 70 from 230, but you'll obviously want to get more. Does get more. 140. Plenty, but it's Sulevich who's looking at the 170. First darts in. Lands a bedfellow. Wants the ball. Game shot. Oh, what a shot from Sulevich. What a way to avoid the prospect of being whitewashed. And it's taken a 170 finish for Sulevich to get off the mark in this match. We have a friend friendly rivalry going on. We'll come to it in a moment, but I was going to ask your story of the autumn season. 28. So Van Gerwen eyes up this 96. Double 14. Yep, correct. Just double checking. He's gone the Mensa route. Game shot. Just by his own petard. Double 14. Van Gerwen found a way. And air up the finish yeah but i was going to ask you the story paul about and also how much this win means to him if he does get it done and it looks increasingly likely that he will 100. well they say in the fitness world that sometimes you need to shock your muscles in darts you may need to shock your dominance double top game shot and he has been shocked into this kind of day via missing the premier league play Either two or three, but he will be back looking for double four. Few legs have gone hey, by. Sulevich has struggled to steer with MVG. Game shot and four a match. To get Michael his first of the autumn series. In she goes into the bank, Murph. Here at the autumn series, Michael Van Gerwen has arrested the fall. He wins on day three. Uh, congratulations. Thank you must you. be delighted with how you played all day. There's some really good stuff. I, I think I did uh, the right things at the right moment. And uh, I had some tough games today. Uh, Demon had a uh, lot to yesterday. Uh, I, I didn't really feel comfortable yesterday. I can't, I can't go into details. But uh, I'll just tell you, I had a sore bum. But uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, I, outside, outside that today, I think I played phenomenal. Also against Glendor. And when I had to play well, I did play well. And... Yeah, that, that made me win today, and uh, I, I felt a lot more comfortable in the last few days than uh, I did before, and that made me win this uh, this tournament today. To beat Damon, who you lost to yesterday, despite him throwing some good dots at you as well. Yeah, yeah, he's a, but he's a good, a very calm, good player, and uh, a lot of people underestimate the guy like him, and uh, then you can make mistakes, but then you need to keep your head strong for a day like today, and make sure you don't make the same mistake, and... I kept the top of him, and I, I thought I beat him quite easily, to be fair. How satisfying was it to beat Glenn Durant for the first time? Yeah, of course that's nice, but uh, I should have won last time as well <laughs> in the Premier League. I missed a few dots on my double, but Glenn is a phenomenal player, and I said that, but he's not the most enjoyable player to play against because he's not that's something I miss in, in his game. And I've said that to him in his face as well, so there's, there's, there's no secret, there's nothing to hide, but... Uh, there's more for him to come, I think, and uh, you need to make sure you keep guys like them under pressure, and I think I did at the right moment today. This is your fourth title this year, but how important was it for you to come here to the Autumn Series and make sure you won, particularly after the Premier League? Yeah, of course, there's always pressure on my back, I know that. Uh, the, of course, I didn't perform what, what I could in the Premier League, but uh, 
that's how guards go sometimes and uh, I never saw uh, a sportsman or someone in the sport always goes sky high they always have a little dip or some, something like that and that happens to me as well I'm human but I will come back stronger and everyone knows that and I believe in my own opportunity and in my own ability and that's what you have to do. We've seen you move back to your old darts. Yeah, I mean, you've I experimented did. with different things, but is that a permanent uh, thing? Is it just a temporary no, thing? No, no, it's, uh, at this stage, of course, it's quite difficult for me because I want to go to Wimbo to, to make sure we come to, to, to a nice piece because I think they've got the, the most uh, lovely uh, manufacturer in the world. But at this moment, I have to quarantine and all them things. And uh, I have to wait a little bit. So I just go back to basic and from there get some confidence and make sure you move on. And th I spoke with Vince about that, the owner of Wimmo. And he said, yeah, no worries. <laughs> as long as you win, I'm fine. <laughs> but uh, um, the other darts I played with, it's a dart, because no one probably know. It's a, it's a dart with two different tungsten in one. So no one else in the whole world plays with them. It's a 95 and 85 percent tungsten, and uh, I tried, I tried my absolute best, but it, it didn't work. And yeah, things like that, you you have to innovate, and yeah, sometimes you have to try things in life. And of course, it doesn't always go you goes your way, but that's that's life, and you need to only make sure you get back stronger. Well, look, you've won your first title of the Autumn Series. You picked up two at the Summer Series. There's still time to better that, and we've seen you win. Oh, you you fancy a chance? You play like that, you could win the next two. I think I had a massive chance the first tournament against Peter White. I missed a few dots on a double here, uh, down double 18 to go 6-3 up. But uh, things like that uh, happens in darts and uh, the field is so strong at the moment. So you have to play your A game if you want to win tournaments like this because everyone can beat you otherwise. And you, you don't give them a little bit of your finger because you take your hand. Well, uh, the man said it himself, the field is so strong right now, but this man produced his A-game and produced a lot of it over the course of today. Just beaten Mensal Sulevich in the final, but go back and look at the games leading up to it. 6-0, 6-2, 6-0, 6-2, 100-plus averages all the way through, pretty much. Michael Van Gerwen is our winner on day three of the Autumn Series. We've got two more of these to come. It all continues tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock local time. Uh, Michael Van Gerwen will be here. Peter Wright will be here. They'll all be here, and they're all fighting out for £75,000 worth of prize money. Join us tomorrow on PDC. CTV by the good people at Loop Productions.